Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Akana is on assignment. A Kailua woman asked the Supreme Court today to erase what she calls a fraudulent marriage to a heartless con man. KIT Force Daryl Huff was there for the argument and joins us now from the newsroom with the exclusive story. Daryl. Laura, George Patrick Daniel Doobie has a history of conning people that goes back to a commune he founded on Kauai. He also fathered many children with many women. But a woman who says she was the victim of Doobie's biggest con is now trying to erase their marriage and the divorce that cost her millions. Uh, he was very charismatic. And um, the man was a psychopath, and he, he had no heart. He could convince people of anything because he had no conscience. Jerry Svitinovich became a millionaire selling Herbalife products. She says George Doobie conned her by claiming he was legally divorced before they married. She said it wasn't until another woman, the mother of several of Doobie's children, killed him in Thailand that she learned that his prior divorce wasn't legal, that their marriage was bigamy. I'm not the first one. Absolutely. I am not the first one. He had a lot of practice before he got to me. Doobie got as much as $17 million in property when they divorced. Her lawyers told the Supreme Court today that because the marriage was illegal, so was the divorce. If it doesn't exist, you can't enforce it against my client. You can't take her money and give it to him if you don't have the power to do it. But both these parties firmly believe that they were validly married. The lawyer for Doobie's family says the case is about money and revenge. And she waited till after he was dead, and frankly, I think she waited until after she found out that he might have had uh, some other relationships. It's my whole life. So, I don't know if anybody's been through it, but you know, you, you pick up the pieces and you carry on from where you are, and all I, I, I just really hope and pray, I pray to God that there's justice out there and then we get our justice the court justices had a lot of questions for both sides but didn't indicate which way they were leaning it could take weeks or months to issue an opinion meanwhile the legacy of george Duby is still being fought out in other lawsuits as well laura all right thanks daryl